what is up everyone welcome back to another day in a vlog this is gonna be an exciting vlog so first time inside of an airport first time on a plane first time to Chicago and first time to Pokemon Go Fest so I am super excited it is super early in the morning so no problem there but I'm going to find <sighs> so See if I get myself around the airport. It shouldn't be too, too difficult. But right now I'm just in the daily parking. So 12 bucks a day, because I'll be gone pretty much a day. So head into the buses. All right, inside the airport, not a bad little shuttle. Now I've got to find my gate and all that good stuff. Alright, it's about time to go into the TSA. Big line, as you guys can see, but luckily it's not so bad. Alright, so first time for TSA, not so bad at all. Pretty smooth. Of course, the lines for TSA are usually big, as most of you should probably know whether you fly or not. My flight leaves at 6.35, starts boarding at 6.05, and it's like 6.10, so good time. Not only did, not only is my flight boarding now, I'm also position C, so I'm the last to load into the plane, so that helps a bit also. I just got off of the plane not too long ago. The flight was excellent. It's pretty cool riding on a plane. It feels like somewhat like a roller coaster in a way. Sounds, but um, not bad at all. So I still have like three hours or so until the event starts. So I'm just gonna go and get some food. And I don't know, I think there's a train. Take the train to the city, just explore a little bit. Because I'm here for some extra time. Events 11 to 7. I'll have to be there all the time if I don't want to, but I'll probably be there most of the time. But once again, fly was excellent. No problems at all. Right. I just got my ticket. I just gotta go find the train to Washington and Warback. Guys, just got off the train. I'm right by the Millennium Park, and Grand Park is also around here too. So. Hey, what's up, So the first stop food will be Wallberry Pancakes and Cafe. Give that a go. Alright, so I just got a seat here at Wallberry Pancakes and Cafe. They have quite a big menu. A lot of good stuff. So we just wrapped up eating breakfast. Um, it was really, really good. I give it a 
I don't know, out of five? Either four out of five or a five out of five. Like, those are expensive. I guess you could say 14 bucks, but you got the fruit. You get a choice of pancakes or toast. Uh, I forget what else. There was something else. But, yeah, I got to create your own omelet. And then the uh, wild berry uh, orange juice. But now I have about, like, 30 minutes before I need to be at Grand Park. So, I'm just been wandering around. Do the ramps, uh, just, just observing the city pretty much. So, yeah. And plus, I got to talk to a guy from Detroit. He was in here for a little bit, so he sat at the table by me. So we had a nice little conversation, but yeah, not bad, not bad. All right. So I just got myself a uh, what's it called? Chai, chai tea. You know, vanilla chai, blah blah blah. But um. Yeah, so far, uh, I like Chicago. It feels like New York, pretty much. Just like a, I want to almost say it's like a busier New York because, like, especially with the beeping. Like, I when I was in New York, people beeped a lot, but here, holy crap, it's like almost nonstop. So I have like 20 minutes before I can enter, and everything starts activating. So I'm gonna go to the Millennium Statue thing. So I am by this thingy, whatever it's called. You always see it in like pictures and videos. It's pretty cool, you can, you know, see yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'll be hanging around here for a little bit before it starts. All right, underneath it, this. So, I don't know what these are called over here, but okay. the uh, water comes down, there's artwork behind it. So, there's that one over there. This one over here. Alright, so just a quick look around the place. Got a lot of hippopotas, which I love hippos, and I always wanted one. So, we do got some apples out in the wild now. I heard my wild out in the wild also, so hopefully get some shiny goodies. Right, so right off the top of the bat, like you see behind me, you can get all the autograph sessions with all the YouTubers. It's, um, Pokemon Master Holly, Trainer Tips, Mystic 7, Reversal, and Zoe 2 Dots. So get that out of the way because they go fast and once they go, then no one else can get one. So that's why they say go early. All right, look what we got here. A juicy, meaty electric squirrel. And that's, I believe it's regional somewhere. Another few regionals here, but I'll be the first one in the decks of a regional. I did get the hippo, obviously. But here we are, fresh to the decks. I didn't even have a lucky egg on, crap. Oh well. Yeah, there's our team, the elites. Mystic Forever. All right, so quest so far pretty good. The first three actually were make three new friends, spend seven Pokestops, and send three gifts. So that forced me to send gifts for once, huh? So I just completed it. That is a tiny Let's see. Get a nice juicy reward. Get some lore modules, silver pineapps. Skip all that jazz. Look at that. So basically, we gotta go to each different biome and catch that type. So that should not be hard at all. All right, guys. I actually got my first shiny Houndor. I have not had one of these yet. I always wanted one. It looks so cool. It's blue. Finally got one. One of the first Houndors I clicked. Ah, I clicked one today. Well, in a while, actually, to be honest.
first person I met was Sparky Joy. I didn't film anything, but I crept up on her. I was looking for her. She's like a cool hat. That was custom. But she was wearing a different hat. I saw the shoes. I saw the hair. So here's a picture. So that's the battle arena, as you guys can probably hear in the background. Um, you get tickets for that, you can PvP each other, which is pretty cool. So, have a little stadium. So, what a nice time. It's JT Gilly. Okay, so what's cool at each um, biome, they have a wheel that you spin. You can win prizes based off the questions and stuff. So you get t-shirts and some other stuff. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we got another Pokemon I've been trying to get and I think all of them are out. 26 and exclamation and a question mark I want to say. But that is the unknown. Uh, I saw one on the shadow ones. There's one in the area but I couldn't find it. That was like when it first started coming out so you know all the unknown events around the place I'm not around so finally get an unknown into the dust. I'm having trouble speaking today, huh? There we go. A new Dex entry. Another cool thing about the different biomes is the, you get to find like a five or Pokemon, but in each biome, not all the different species are going to be there. So you can find them at different locations, so you gotta keep on the move. Alright guys, so we're gonna open up all of these juicy rewards, see what we get. And we get some pretty good stuff out of these. Ooh. <clears throat> can't go wrong with Gardevoir, but you can go wrong with a Pokemon. One, two, and three. Finally got out. Eh, we'll go down here. Ooh. Okay. New entry in the decks. I've been catching the baby. Are the first form all day. Not really, but like, you know, the beginning. Ooh, I should save it. I should definitely save this one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna save that. Along with a lot of other entries I have that I've been not Oh uh, no, I have to get it. Two, three. Alright. I wanted to save it, but you have, you have to catch all of them, unfortunately. So, new entry in the decks. No big deal. Claim. Let's see. Oh. Just an bum snow. Nothing too crazy. A little tough. But. It's done. Now, let's see what the next stuff is. Oh, finally. I don't know, my throws kept going right through them. Right. Oh, no. I had to register it, too. I've been saving so many evolutions for, like, a big XP day. Oh, so that's two I had to catch. I think one... Gengar. Okay. Great. Got Gengar out of the way. Now, for the final one, let's see what it is. Boy, is my arm tired from holding this up. Final one. Let's see. Kingdra. Which is kind of cool, I guess, but it's like. At least for me, some of these are like hard to catch. He went golden. So. Alright, so that's that complete. We got the ring of banners. Golden raspberries. Sorry about the win. And we got. Uh, what was it? Ins oh, Stardust with incense. Okay, that's right. Next. So we gotta go to the different habitats to take pics. So it's almost time for the photo session. I'm almost done uh, taking the snapshots to see the 
couple more horsey and ghastly. But for some reason I don't have a horsey and I can't find one. There were some spawned earlier, but um, I'm gonna hit the back rooms and then I'm gonna hit the photo session. <laughs> Alright guys, just got all of the autographs that I needed on each one and a pick. So here's the picks. But yeah, overall, I'm having a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna go finish the quest now. I just gotta go find a freaking horsey because for some reason I don't have one. I need to take a picture of it. So, excuse me. So I haven't seen any around as of now, but I'm gonna go to the water biome and see if any pop up over there because some are popping up over here by the spooky woods. But, uh, <laughs> I'll get back to you. Alright, so I just found Oversee over by the ground biome. Alright guys, so we are finally claiming our final garage, our final reward. There is still another step after this that is just some trading. Um what else? Trade in, take a snapshot of Jirachi, and some other things. I go towards some loud music to wake up Jurassic. There we go. Here we go. One, two, three. We got Jurassic, everybody. Oh, yeah. Jurassic is caught. Oh, I don't have a lucky egg on. Oh, well, that's okay. I got it. Alright, we're gonna look at the IVs. 1354. Uh, certainly caught Texan with attack. Not so bad. At least we got Josh. But now I'm just gonna take a little break. Let my phone charge. They can see it was like 17%. Uh, Mystic Lounge is clogged up at the moment, but I think we're gonna walk around, maybe get a bite. I don't know. Let my phone charge for a while. <sighs> okay, guys. So I ran into Sparky once again. We were in the middle of a trade, and my phone dies. The cords are just the cords are weak. I never ended up buying like a more expensive one that I wanted to. So like the cords were starting to weaken. So I went to I did go to a store earlier, and it was like, nope, we don't have USB minis. So now I'm walking like 10 minutes to go to uh, Target Mobile and then hopefully I can get a stronger cord. Day. I got a charger from uh, the Target Mobile, working good so far. Now I'm heading right back over to the Grant Park, it's right in front of me actually, not too far away. Wow. You too. <laughs> Look at that, folks. A shiny dust skull. <laughs> Trash. So we. So we're winding down guys. I actually just ran into Sparky Joy again. I was looking for her all over. She's wearing down. Where'd she go? She's somewhere. Oh, there she is. I don't know if you can see her. She's by the dog. But um, we just did our trade. We caught uh, exclamation points. Um, unknown traded to see if we get a lucky. But no lucky, but it's okay because it's Sparky's. But um, yeah, there's about 20 minutes left on the event. I think we're gonna do like a group picture and then we'll go from there. Alright. Oh, my voice. Alright, just turned 7 o'clock. Everything despawned. Back to normal. So, I think now, I think the picture is at 7.15. The big group picture. So I'm gonna go head over to the fairy garden where it's gonna be. Alright guys, 
guys, that is a wrap of 2019 Go Fest. I had tons of fun. I'm glad I was able to finally make it out here. Um, yeah, all around, like the, all the stations, the lounges, um, you know, the food trucks, um, the biomes, everything. The people, it was all fun seeing everyone play. It's always fun seeing everyone play, you know, old, young, you know, grandmas, <laughs> grandpas, etc. But, um, yeah, that's it. Alright guys, so I'm basically in the middle of traffic. So, um, uh, there's a place called Art of Pizza right over there. Um, they have like almost five stars. I had to get a Chicago deep dish before I left. Um, so, that's what I'm about to do. I got a deep dish prep. Let me show you guys. Alright, we're gonna give this a taste test. Mmm. bad. That's a pretty good slice right there. But um, I'm gonna finish chowing down. I'm gonna get out of this popsicle sand. Just got off the plane, another successful flight. Um, yeah, gonna go to my car. It is 1.08 a.m. And I actually made me a friend. Jillian. All right guys, I am now back home. Um, I ran into my friend Jill. She was getting off a flight um, from a different airport. Um, but yeah, we landed pretty much exactly the same time, like a few minutes different. So, you know, we, Met up, we walked to the park, same parking garage, blah, 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 and now I'm home. It was such a great experience for GoFest, being in Chicago, flying on a plane, going to the airport, all that good stuff, and it's now all over. I gotta edit, I don't know, in a few hours. It's like 2.22, or 2.32. I gotta edit at some point, and I gotta work early. Woo! The grind, I guess. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the mood crew. Let me know down below where you at GoFest, or if you went to Chicago. And with that, I'll see you guys around. Oh, yeah.